estimation of cholesterol by Zach's method. The aim of the experiment is to estimate the amount of cholesterol in the given unknown sample. The sample used for study can be a serum sample or any food sample. In this method, initially proteins in the sample are precipitated with ferric chloride acetic acid reagent. Then the protein free filtrate containing cholesterol is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid. In the presence of excess concentrated sulfuric acid, cholesterol is dehydrated to cholesterol-3,5-diene. Further, it is oxidized in the presence of ferric ions to form a red color complex. The color intensity is further measured at 540 nanometer. The materials required are One is the standard stock solution of cholesterol prepared in glacial acetic acid. Two is the working standard solution prepared from the stock solution. The third reagent required for Zach's method is ferric chloride acetic acid reagent. Next is the test unknown sample taken for study. Next chemical required for the uh, test is concentrated H2SO4. In the protocol, take a series of test tubes to perform the experiment. So the first tube is, take, is for taking blank that will be containing only, only your uh, ferric chloride acetic acid reagent. The next you take a series of test tubes where you will be taking your standard working solution of different concentrations. Different concentration ranging from 0.5 to 2.5 ml. The test samples are taken in two test tubes and you label it as test 1 and test 2. So 5 ml of ferric chloride acetic acid reagent is added to the blank. Working solutions, different concentration of standard working solutions are taken in the series of test tubes. In S1, we are taking 0.5 ml of the standard working solution. In S2, we are taking 1 ml of the standard working solution. In test sample 3, we are taking 1.5 ml of the standard working solution. In S5, we are taking 2.5 ml of the standard working solution. We are taking 1 ml of the test sample. Test sample 2 also we are taking 1 ml. The volume in standard working solutions and the test sample is made up to 5 ml by adding ferric chloride acetic acid solution. In S1 we are adding 4.5 ml of the ferric chloride acetic acid solution. In S3, we are adding 3.5 ml of ferric chloride acetic acid solution. In S4, we are adding 3 ml of ferric chloride acetic acid solution. And in S5, we are adding 2.5 ml of the ferric chloride acetic acid solution. So we are making up the volume to 5 ml in all the test tubes. Same way in test sample also we are adding ferric chloride acetic acid solution to make up the volume to 5 ml. So there we are going to add 4 ml of the ferric chloride acetic acid solution.
after adding ferric chloride acetic acid reagent the 3 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid is added to all the test tubes from blank standard solutions and the test sample concentrated sulfuric acid is added and the test tubes are kept for incubation at room temperature for 15 minutes we are going to add the concentrated sulfuric acid to all the samples so we are adding 3 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid to all the samples after 15 minutes of incubation a pink color complex is formed intensity of the color is measured at 540 nanometer using a calorimeter the od readings for each of the sample is taken and tabulated as shown here a standard graph is drawn by taking concentration of cholesterol along the x axis and the od readings along the y axis and a graph is plotted from the graph the amount of cholesterol present in the given unknown sample is calculated